So now, here we have an AND logic gate. We have to turn both transistors on in order for our load to turn on. So these are our inputs, these jumpers right there. And our load is the LED right there, it's off. So if I put uh, one jumper to the positive supply, the uh, LED stays off, they're both to the negative supply. Now, if I put the other one to the positive supply, LED is completely off right there. Only time the LED is on is if all of the transistors are on. There's only two of them here, uh, so we got two. If you had three, a third transistor in series right there, all three of them would be have to be on. So now, as a review, since I drew it on the diagram, this is the schematic symbol for an NPN bipolar junction transistor. Arrow is pointing out. If it was pointing in, it would be PNP. Arrow is where the emitter is. Base is over here on this side of the bar. And then collector comes out uh, with nothing else uh, added to it. And usually, um, there's a part number next to it. You don't have to use that uh, part number but um, you gotta use a transistor that can handle the load. This uh, one could also, any transistor can handle a red LED, all the ones I know of. And uh, main thing though is, this one has a different pin layout. So I'm using the 2N394 emitter base collector when you're looking at the flat side. So emitter base collector, working that way. For both of these, we got the collector of this one to the emitter of that one. And uh, this one, you would have to wire it differently. So now here, we can see the uh, schematic diagram that I drew more easily, 2N3904. As I said before, they are wired as switches, both of them. You need to go to the positive supply uh, for both of them in order to get the base two emitter current. You actually can get the base two emitter current with that one uh, by itself, but if that one's not conducting, then uh, no current's gonna go flow from collector to emitter. So gotta go to the positive supply there, a base two emitter plus the positive supply there so that it can go base to emitter down through that transistor to ground. And uh, that little bit of current from base to emitter will allow many times the uh, current to flow through there, much more than what the load needs. So the load will set the current. Pretty straightforward. Main thing is all transistors, two of them in this case have to be on. Here's the schematic symbol for the AND gate. I got a drop of water on there. Um, but yeah, that's input A right there. Should still be able to read that. And the output there. Um, the pins may or not uh, be labeled, um, but often that's like A, B, and so on. You could have three, four, you know, more inputs. And I believe I have uh, one integrated circuit with seven. So generally you use integrated circuits. If there's a particular one um, that uh, the circuit designer preferred for that circuit for whatever reason, uh, usually there's a part number on there and good chance there's four AND gates on there. So I'll say like one out of four. Maybe you'll have like three AND gates in the circuit. One will say one out of four, two out of four, three out of four, and uh, so on. Um, you know, this is a pretty simple circuit, so I'm gonna explain a little bit extra. And uh, logic gates come with uh, truth tables. So I believe there's six uh, base, uh, you know, basic uh, logic gates. Um, then there's other integrated circuits that use logic gates uh, to make more advanced circuitry, probably NAND gates. But in any case, we got the AND gate right there. And we got zero, that could mean, you know, off, could mean zero volts. There's all kinds of things that it can mean. So in this particular circuit, uh, the transistors are either on or off, same with the LED, but we have to give a positive signal right there to turn the transistor on right there. So again, the uh, ones and zeros um, of the uh, true table there can mean all kinds of things, but uh, commonly, it's either high or low, on or off, five volts or zero volts. And so just be aware of that. But uh, in this case, both transistors off, outputs off. One of them's on, then it outputs off. Output is uh, this part right there. Um, conducts or doesn't for the most part that the LED is attached to. And uh, the other one, same thing. You need both transistors on for the LED to turn on, in this case, for conduction to occur. That's the way this uh, circuit is uh, wired up. When it comes to the integrated circuits, they have a high output. Um, you don't usually see the power pins, but it's usually the same uh, voltage as the rest of the circuit. Um, actually, I think they got a, most of them have to work with five volts. So if the other circuitry has a different voltage, you gotta deal with that. But uh, we're not gonna worry about that too much. You gotta power the integrated circuit probably with five volts. Uh, just be aware of that. And uh, so a high output will be uh, like five volts. Usually they don't provide a lot of current 
some of them can't really provide any just be aware of that but you'll get that five volts out that you can have other circuitry respond to or a low output uh, ground um, to the negative supply right there going to the output it can provide a little bit of power usually and um, so you got to look at the data sheet for specifics for the one you're using but in any case uh, yeah again pretty simple so I explained extra um, it's a simple circuit if you have transistors laying around and you want to figure out the different ways to put them together that's how you get better at de designing your own circuits um, just look for simple schematics like this and uh, build the actual circuits just like I did there as many as you can and you'll pick it up pretty quickly so that's it thanks for watching make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video